was I was pretty much the first one out of that scene. So what happens? I you know what I can't remember. If I left first. Yeah, it was me. I left first, and and Don Don was pissed, and then Don followed. Uh, what happened exactly? Yeah. Is that what you asked? Yeah. Um. Uh. They got picked up. Okay, they were they were being looked at. We were being looked at. And um, these guys that wanted to manage them uh, wanted to change them totally, change the band. Okay, and by that I mean they were they wanted to tone the band down really, really a lot. You know, they they wanted them to be very accessible, real commercial. And so what they did was um, that the first guy to go was the drummer. The drummer was you know his set was huge and he played over the his playing was over the top. You know, just. Uh, it didn't fit. I just, me and my style didn't fit with what they had in mind for, for Great White. So, um, so they let me go. And then uh, I guess uh, Costa got pissed off after that. Didn't want to play with another. Well, they got this other drummer. He was a real puss. I mean, I should, I should watch what I'm saying. But Is that Gary Allen? Yeah, he was kind of a pussy drummer, man. Real, real light on the sticks and just... But that's what they wanted. You know, that's what they wanted. And um, they wanted somebody to play real light beats and straight ahead, you know, like almost like a drum machine would do. Which is funny because they fired him one album later. Exactly. They got rid of him. Got to bring the Audi back. See, and all this time, Audi's a good guy, man. Good friend of mine. All this time, Audi had been uh, honing his shops. Uh, he'd been practicing and practicing, and he was, he was going to either come back or get something better. So he ended up coming back. But by the time you leave the band, it's still called Dante Fox. They hadn't gone into Great White yet, right? Uh, it, it was it was right there on the verge. That's what they were. That's what their manager was wanting to do was change the name, get rid of the drummer, tone down the music, and and all that stuff. They were they were, they were wanting to get rid of Don too because he was he was crazy too. He was over the top. If you noticed, I mean, they even each record kind of got a little more commercial. I left. Right before and during, you know, right during the time that all the transaction was taking place. Yeah. I was the first thing to go, and, and right away after that, they were making changes, name changes, uh, personnel changes, and uh, and helping them rewrite the music and, and toning everything down. So I'll probably safely say there's not much of that that I played on had any part in writing on that first album. There could be. I just might not remember, really. It's been a while, but I've even listened to it, you know what I mean? So you guys were even more aggressive than the first record when you were in the band? Yes, oh yeah. I think they they weren't happy, you know, I shouldn't say things, you know, I don't want to say too much, but I think they weren't really happy in the direction they were going after that, and, uh, you know, they started putting more and more demands on them, I think, and because uh, I had seen Jack and Mark a, a few times at parties and shit after that. They weren't too thrilled with it all. They were making the money, but... They, they, their, uh, you know, their, their art, their craft, what, what it is they wanted to do was uh, uh, took, took the uh, bite for that, you know. But they were making money, so they kept their mouth.